Hey guys, my name is Jake Tellis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to go over a new product really quickly from Isotope called Neutron Advanced. And essentially what this is, if you look closely, you'll see an EQ, two compressors, an exciter, a transient shaper, and a limiter right here. So with a quick glance, it appears to be just like a channel strip type processor. But on another level, it has what's called track assistant, which you click, and it basically listens to the track for four to 10 seconds. It analyzes the audio, and then it essentially gives you starting point settings for your track. So say you don't know how to mix, or you're looking to learn how to mix, or you just want to advance what you have, this might be a really great tool for that, um, because you can kind of see what it does, and then learn from it, or use it if, if, if you're not really a mix engineer, or, or otherwise. So, you know, it's a really simple interface to use. You know, it has the, has the basic things you would expect on a channel strip. It's got an EQ, compressor number one, and compressor number two, and an exciter, and a transient shaper, which, you know, of course, you can add attack or sustain or take away attack or sustain on a sound. A lot of times it's used on drums. And right here I have a track, which is a bass, synth, kick, hi-hat, and clap, really simple. And I have Neutron on all of them. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Track Assistant and let it analyze all of these four tracks. And then the second thing that isn't so obvious when, while looking at this is the second tool that's really useful is the masking tool. Whereas when you have them all analyzed and you click this, every track that you've analyzed Neutron with will show up here. And you can see on the EQ while it's playing what track is masking, what frequencies a track is masking at. So say like a kick and bass would be a really good example of tracks that often have frequencies that kind of mask each other. But of course this applies to all your tracks. So I think it's a great tool in general and it's a great mixing tool and a great learning tool. So it's not for everyone, but I, I think, I mean, even for me, I've been mixing for about 11 years now and I, I actually find it really useful when I just tried it out this morning. So I figured I'd do a quick video on it and yeah, let's get to it. So. On this bass here, I'm actually going to click Track Assistant. And basically, we got to play our track to let it listen. So let's do that. So almost magically, it kind of zoomed in on some EQ changes, added some compression, and it also added some a bit of exciter. And that doesn't sound extreme, but it sounds good, which I'm glad it's not extreme, because that would be kind of scary as a tool. And let's also check out what it did on the other tracks. So we have a kick, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the hi-hat. And lastly, there's a clap. So I actually like the moves that it did. And I think on the clap, I'm actually going to insert the transit designer and actually add some more attack. So we're just going to take this attack knob here and lift it up a bit. And let's, hit, let's kind of mess with it while we're playing it. And yeah, I, I felt like the attack gave it a bit more kind of bite at the top of the hit, which is nice. It's, it, it sounds more like a clap to me. And what's also worth noting down here is you have the mode for Neutrino. It actually scans it as clean, which sounds cool. And you could set the detail and amount that you want it to process it, which is pretty handy. And of course, you can go into all the stuff and you don't have to use the track assistant. And you could just mix it as you would any other channel strip, which is pretty handy. So. Again, this is a really simple interface. You got your EQs, compressors, exciters, transient shapers, and over here is the limiter. You can insert it and select the mode you want. And now the second thing I mentioned about this EQ Cypher Track Assistant, which is kind of how we came up with these settings, is the uh, masking feature that's built in. So everything, you know, all four tracks are scanned in. So they basically see each other and can speak to each other, which is really cool. On the bass and kick, let's actually use the masking function. So as you can see here, I labeled this first Neutron track to be bass, but otherwise it'll just say Neutron 1, Neutron 2. So you might want to label that for the sake of knowing what track you're on. And then we're going to click Masking. And basically, 
you can select whatever other track Neutron's on to kind of see both tracks as far as you, you can see and analyze both tracks. So we're gonna select a kick and let's hit play. And basically we'll see the bass track here and the kick track, as you see it's labeled here, will show up here. And let's see what we got. So I can see that they're clashing at around 40 hertz, 38 to be exact. And of course, we don't want to take out too much, but what I actually am going to do is I'm going to hit this inverse link here, which essentially says that if I raise something on one track, it basically gets cut on the other track and vice versa. So let's actually boost here. And now if you look on the lower kick track, if you while I'm doing this, you'll see that it's actually cutting in the same exact frequency, which is really cool. And let's actually hit play and let's see what that sounds like. And what I actually did while I was playing is I clicked off inverse link, that way I could independently control them. And I kind of did a little bit more of a boost and a cut, but not totally even. And let's actually hear the, uh, you know, without the plugin on this kick and bass. And let's do with it again. I just hope Neutron is a super cool channel strip plugin with some smart functions like the track assistant and as well as the masking tool, which I really, really dig and I think it's worth checking out. If you don't know how to mix, this might be a great tool to really help you kind of start to learn the tools such as EQ, compression, exciters, transient shaper, and limiting. So let's actually play it with all the Neutron stuff off on these tracks and let's kind of do a before and after. So here's everything off. And let's get everything back on and let's play it back. Cool. So, again, this tutorial is mainly to show you the plugin. Um, I'm sure it's not the best settings, and I could actually do a much better job on that, like especially going in and tweaking the neutron settings and also working on the gain staging a bit. As I saw that the clap was kind of clipping a bit. But um, yeah, hopefully this tutorial was helpful in showing you the product. And thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. And let me know in a comment if you'd like to see any other future videos. And subscribe if you aren't already. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.